Hey guys, I thought I would do another video because that one was kind of short, but this one's going to be even shorter. This is going to be my birthday haul. My birthday was a couple of months ago. Obviously, I've been away from the channel and I haven't had time to show you these. So, I'm going to show you like this because you can obviously tell what this is if the fans out there know what this one is. I'm just going to show it like this for now, so stay tuned. So here's the first one. This is Craig Ferguson. This is called I'm Here to Help. And this is one of his craziest DVDs ever. It's very funny and it's very bad. Like, bad. Like, I can't believe he just said that bad. And I've been a fan of his for years and I really like his comedy on his late, late night show, which will be ending pretty soon. I'm pretty sad about that. But, you know, he needs to move on and he is Craig Ferguson, so yeah, he can do whatever he wants if you haven't obviously seen that. So um, yes, very funny, he talks about Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt in here. I don't really care for that, you know, I take it as quality entertainment, that's what I see it as. Some people would get offended and say, oh I can't believe you're saying that kind of thing, whatever, you know, whatever. I get past that and I watch it for his entertainment. I get a laugh out of it, you know? So what? Uh, he's gonna make fun of a celebrity. Just like Kathy Griffin does. Who cares? <laughs> Take it as fine comedy that it is. So, Craig Ferguson, I'm here to help. So now we get to an actual movie. And this one, I had already had it. And this one is The Lightning Thief. So I've had this one already. This is the Percy Jackson series. This is where it started. And this one's The Lightning Thief. And this is where my new um, collection comes in. This is Percy Jackson and the Sea of Monsters. I actually really like this movie and in a way it was kind of bad because I have read the books and you can imagine the books are always better, you know. But they did have the elements that were in the book the Cyclops and everything, and the horses that were kind of rainbow colors kind of thing. I really like that, so there's that part, and it's pretty much all about giants. If you haven't seen it, if you haven't read the book, go and read it, and then you can watch the movie, so. Percy Jackson, Sea of Monsters. Here's the next one. This is also a book, and this one is the first book to movie adaptation in the series. This is City of Bones. In the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare. This is Clare and this is her partner Jace. I'm not gonna say anymore because I'll ruin it if I say anymore. <laughs> so yeah, um, yeah, this is the first movie. I'm hoping for the second one because I have already read the first one, I've read the second one, I've read the third one. I'm ready to get into the next book because you have to read it in a sort of kind of way, different, you know. Of course they're going to do that to you. They're like, read it in publication order. That's the way you read it. And I'm like, okay, okay. It's kind of weird. You have to jump into the next series and then you have to come back to the other series. And it's confusing, really. But um, I really liked the third book. And this one's obviously the first one. I'm going to get that. But I really liked the third one. And I can't wait to get into the next book. So... Whenever I finish Outlander, which is 500 some pages, it starts this coming week, I think, somewhere around there. So there's that one. The next one is part of my series that I recently got, and this is The White Queen. I still have to read the books in this series. I believe there's five different ones that make up this actual series. And I started watching this on Stars. didn't know much about it, just knew that Philippa Gregory had actually created this whole world in her books, in all of the books, and I really, really liked it. And it's just like a female Game of Thrones, and I can't go wrong with that, obviously. It has some really good acting. I don't know if you can see, there's the White Queen right there. That's when she actually becomes the White Queen. And yeah, I really need to get back into this series because I actually started 
watching it and then I put it down because I got busy and I never picked it up again. So with work and everything, I still want to get back to this. So there's that one, The White Queen. Okay. Season 3 of Game of Thrones, guys. Wow. I can't wait to... I already finished it. Guys, I finished it. I can't wait to see season 4. Ugh, I can't get enough of this series, guys. Game of Thrones is like the thing right now. I don't know if you just want to just look at it. It's amazing, guys. Um, check this out. The dragon actually comes off. And you have the three swords there. And it goes with the theme of winter is coming, you know? Here's all the characters on the back. And yeah, guys, I've read the first book, the second book, and the third book. I want to get into the fourth one. The third one was absolutely amazing, and I couldn't get enough. I just wanted to know more. What's going to happen now? Because it leaves us on a cliffhanger. Come on, I need to know what's going on. I don't watch it on HBO because I think I missed it at a point when I was still in the middle of this and I need to get back into it. So um, I guess I'll be waiting for the season four to come out on DVD, obviously. So yeah, I just can't believe I finished these way too quick. So this is the last video or DVD in my video collection here. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one, guys. Bye.